G'day folks, welcome back to Kieran's Training. So what we're going to do today, I've just finished doing some C6 practical assessments. So I figured while I was out here, I'll take the opportunity and we'll have a look at how we're going to pre-start a crane. Okay, so the crane we're going to use today, although it may not be the same as a crane you're going to be operating, a lot of the fundamentals are pretty much the same, all right? And the one thing to remember is we're just checking every part of the crane, okay? So, first thing, first place to start, all right? Two things you want to check to start with. You want to make sure you've got your load charts in, okay? Because with the load charts, you need to make sure you understand not just the crane's capacities, but also the capabilities of the crane as well, okay? Once we get the load charts, we'll take a look at the logbook, all right? So it's a good idea to have a look at the logbook and see if there are any previous faults or any existing faults. And if you haven't driven this particular crane before, it's always good to go back through a few pages and see if there are any recurring faults. So we'll start off, I'll just switch this around so that we can have a look. Okay. okay, so the first thing we're going to look for are the crane's load charts. All right, if we look up there in the cab, all right, we can see quite clearly on the um, window there We've got our load charts in place there. All nice and legible, so that we can understand the crane's capacities and capabilities. Okay, all right, I'm going to walk around to the cab and I'm just going to make sure that the logbook is in place. I'll have a look in the logbook and see if there are any existing faults. Walking around, we'll jump in the cab. I'll just climb up in here. Okay, and here we have our logbook. Okay, so you need to make sure you've got the right logbook for the crane. And we also need to have a look and make sure that it has any faults. All right, find the current week. Okay. All right, so we've got our logbook here. Okay, has a slight water leak in it, all right, which has been reported. So we know that's going to get fixed, all right? So we make sure we have to check the water before we get started. Okay. Now, as I said, if you haven't been in the crane for a while or you're new to this crane, it's always good just to flick back through and just have a look for any previous faults or if there's anything that's been recurring. All right, so there's no real recurring faults in this. So, we've, so we know we're right to continue on. Okay, we'll climb back out. All right. Now, when I do my um, pre-starts, okay, I usually like to start at the front of the crane and I'll work my way around, okay? Now, remember, we're checking every part of the crane. So we've got our auxiliary hook here, all right? We wanna make sure our latches are good, make sure there's no damage to the inside of the hook. Okay, inside here, we have our ham bone, also known as a wedge and socket. It's got some rec retaining clips, make sure they're in place as well. Okay, that's our headache ball. We've got our main hook. Same again, latches are working. No visible damage to the hook. Okay. Should swivel nice and freely. Should be marked with the uh, working load limit and also have the weight of the hook block on there. Okay, we can check our sheaves, make sure they're nice and free. There's no cracks or bends or twists, etc., in your hooks. Okay, if we keep looking up, we've got our rooster sheave up there. All right, then we can have a look at our boom head sheaves. Also up there, you'll see we have another ham bone or wedge and socket. Let's just zoom in a little bit on that. You'll notice on your wedge and socket there, just below the base of it, you should have a bulldog clamp, okay? And that tail end hanging out should be a minimum of 200 mil. Now keep in mind that bulldog clamp, it's not there to stop the rope slipping through, it's there as an indicator. If the rope was slipping through, if you started and you saw um, bulldog clamp was hard up against the wedge and socket, obviously it's got some sign of slippage, possibly have the wedge in the wrong way around. So if you do notice it hard up against the wedge and socket, good idea to do a bit more investigation to find out why. So now we'll continue along. Okay, I'll swipe this down. So now we're gonna start working our way down the crane. Okay, we've got our boom head sheaves up there. Make sure they're all in good condition. We've got our fly jib attachment on the bottom, 
make sure those retaining pins are in there. We're going to look down our boom, looking for any signs of flaking paint, any cracked welds, any bends or twists, any excessive rust. While we're on the outside, we can check our light lenses. Okay, check the mirrors are in good condition. Okay, any decals must be legible. Decals there and there. The steps are clean and free from dirt. Check our wheels and tyres. Make sure you've got enough tyre pressure. If you have the wheel nut indicators, you make sure there's haven't got any turns in your wheel nuts. Okay, still looking down. We can keep checking the boom, checking the fly, checking for any damage. As we come down, another decal. We've got air tanks down here. We want to give them, make sure we don't have any water in our air tanks. Down here we have a fuel water separator. Make sure that that's nice and clear. We've got our controls. Make sure all our controls are clearly labelled. Okay, got our bubble level indicator down here. We've got all our hydraulic hoses, got our level indicator, checking our outriggers, making sure there's no signs of damage on our outriggers, make sure the, um, foots are, the feet are nice and secure, checking the fuel tank. We can have a look down our luffing cylinder, make sure there's no signs of any leaks coming from our luffing cylinder. Right, still looking down our boom. When we get to the end, uh, the pin for the needle, make sure that's in. We can check the sheave on there. Coming back down, we've got more wheels, we've got more tyres. We can have a look at our slew ring, make sure our slew ring is well lubricated. Inside here, we've got all our hydraulic hoses, make sure we have no oil leaks, etc., coming from our hydraulic hoses. Check our slew ring motor, wheels and tyres. Right, we can check the pivot points on the luffing cylinder and the pivot points on the end of the boom. Okay, walking down, if you have any compartments, make sure they're nice and closed up. Okay, walking around, more hydraulic hoses, still checking for leaks, checking the next outrigger, checking your decals, checking the outrigger feet as well. As we walk around, okay, any attachments such as spare wheels, Make sure they are securely attached. Earth chain is tied up. While we're here, we can make sure that our camera, rear camera is nice and clean. Check the tail light lenses. Checking them again. More decals. Coming around. More hydraulic hoses, checking for more leaks. Check the outriggers, check your decals. Coming up again. All right, we've got our winch motors. Make sure they're in a good working order, no leaks, etc. Okay, we're gonna have a quick look under here. Not sure if you can see it too well there, but we're gonna check that the rope on the winch drums is wound on nice and tightly. Okay, if we open up these compartments here, okay, we can have a look in here, make sure we have no signs of any leaks inside there. Okay. All right, make sure they close it again nice and securely. Okay. Keep walking around, we've got more wheels and tyres. We can have a look at the slew ring on this side. Check the data plate, check the data plate over here. Okay, make sure that's all nice and legible. Okay, more wheels and tyres. Okay, as we go down, we can check the luffing cylinder on this side, checking your hydraulic connections there. Christmas trees in good order. Coming down, checking all the boom. Okay. Come down, we'll get to the hydraulic oil. Check your level on your hydraulic oil. Remembering if you have any attachments out, if the boom's up, outriggers are out, your hydraulic oil level is gonna show that it's low. Right, everything must be retracted when you're checking it. Okay, more hydraulic hoses, another outrigger, more decals, looking up and down the outrigger for any signs of bends or twists, any structural damage there. We've got our outriggers here. Our bubble level, our controls, they're clearly labelled. Under here we have our batteries. Okay, let's pull that up. So make sure your batteries are in there nice and secure. Okay, check for any corrosion on the terminals. Let's just pull this other side up. Okay. 
doesn't want to play the game. Okay, doesn't want to quite play the game this morning, but you can have a look at your batteries in there, make sure everything's nice and firm. Okay, remembering if you do open anything up, make sure we close it down again. Right. Don't want to go driving off leaving that out there. Okay, up there you've got your boom angle indicator. You can have a look at that, make sure it's nice and free. Still checking down along this side of the boom, checking for any structural damage. Okay, coming down, wheels and tyres. Go and check the steps. Go and check the decals. Okay, check the mirrors. Check the light lenses. And we're back to the beginning. Okay, once we've done all them, we're going to have a look at the engine compartment itself. All right, don't forget to check your fluid levels as well. Okay, keeping in mind, we did have a notice in there saying that our water was leaking, so we've got to make sure we check that as well. Okay, that back around. Let's get up in here. Okay, so over here, right, we have our water level, okay, which seems to be fine at the moment. Keep in mind it has been running for the last few hours as well. Okay. Open up the engine. Okay, and down here we have our dipstick. All right, I'm not going to pull it out at the moment. Rather pointless, it has been running for quite some time. Okay, but we did check it this morning and it is all nice and clean and fresh. Well, checking your motor for any oil leaks. Make sure there's no signs of any damage in there as well. Okay. Make sure we lock everything back up. Okay. Now, while we're up here, all right, we can wander down here. All right, we can have another good look inside here. Check all your hoses, etc. We've got our angle indicator, make sure that's nice and free. Okay. The other thing I would like to do while I'm up here is we will just come over the back and we'll have a good look at our winch drums. Okay, we want to make sure our winch drums are wound on nice and tightly. Okay. okay. So, on your pre-start, before you start the engine, that's pretty much what you're going to look at. Alright, so, don't think so much what you're going to check. Remember, check everything. Everything's important, so make sure you go around and give a good visual. Look all the way up and down as you go. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.